All right, another small box. Not much in there, whatever it is. Ooh, a kicker pedal. There you go. Probably a Harley one. Put in ones I buy. There you go. Genuine Harley Davidson. Hopefully they're not too worn out. They get worn out this way, but the biggest thing they get worn out this way. This one's not in too bad a condition. It's a little loose, but not too bad. And it hasn't been banged in the ground yet, which is rare. It's pretty soft rubber too. It's not super hard, so this is not a real, real old one. This is not from the 50s. <laughs> this is probably from the 80s. Back when Harley was still say a pedal. Pretty good. Yeah, this one's nice. So it's been worn quite a bit here where it hits in the lever, comes back too far. All you gotta do is put a bead of weld right in here and get it, get it so it sits straight. When they go like that, when you kick them, it tries to rip, tries to bend your leg, your ankle, and hurts you. So you you always want it to be straight or slightly above straight, about 10 degrees past. Then when you're kicking on it, it goes straight down and your foot stays where it belongs. Don't twist you. You get more kicking force too. So you just go in there well, you can see where it's worn away. About 30 thou right there. So this is the bolt that goes with it. So you got the bushing right there. And this is a spring that puts tension on it. It's supposed to have a slight curve to it. But it doesn't have very much curve to it. It's pretty well flattened out. There's a little bit in there. So that goes in between your kicker on your quicker arm, which I don't have an arm here to show you. But where it goes. Bushing. Ah. Bushing goes right in there. So when you tighten it down, you got a nice, gives you an area to wear against. This one's a little bit loose. Very common. You can see how the bolt's getting all eaten out too. Another real common thing. See how loose it gets where you actually working spot? It was pretty loose. So yeah. Needs a new bolt. Probably needs a new bushing too. And it definitely needs to be welded. But the rubber looks good. So the rubber is newer than the rest of it. But it's a nice one. They don't make these anymore. A few years ago they were still making them, but they were selling for well over 100 bucks. More like 150 bucks. Now, they're, now you get 100 them on eBay. You're still going to pay 50, 60 bucks for one. This one's real nice. I like it. Good unit.